There are a very few times in your life when you can say you remember the exact moment you decided something, the exact moment you made a life-altering decision. I remember such a moment. I remember the sounds, the barometric pressure, the heat index, the wind velocity, the bug density. I was outside under the stars on Wednesday, August 17th, 1994. Follow me on that day. I was in the coastal city of Port St. Joe in the Florida Panhandle at a site on the Gulf County Canal, a part of the Intracoastal Waterway. It had been a hazy, hot, and humid day. Take the hottest, most humid day of your life and double it. Then double it again. That was that mid-August day. I was on the outs with my boss, Gary, and he has punitively assigned me to the graveyard shift. That is, 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Shifts are approximately 16 hours long, two hours to prep for getting on the boat, 12 hours physically on the boat collecting water quality data and taking samples, and two more hours cleaning up the equipment after the next crew has pushed off from the dock. I have had approximately four hours of sleep. Even the way out to the site called the Dynamite Dock was an adventure. To get there, we have to drive several miles northeast on Highway 71. Then we turned left onto an unnamed dirt road marked only by a creosote-coated wooden telephone pole with three tacked-on red bicycle reflectors and a horizontal stripe made of faded orange duct tape. After a mile or so on this dirt road, we turned left onto a smaller dirt path for about half a mile. In other words, the clearing where we were headed is on a dirt road off a dirt road. This location redefines the phrase, middle of nowhere. Just after arriving at the work site, we learned from the previous crew that the canal water is running too high and too fast to put our boat into the dock safely. Great. After a quick consult with the boss, we learned that we will now have to climb up and out over the water on a series of mangrove tree limbs to get all of the equipment on and off the boat. There is no wind to speak of, and the biting insects are feasting. We are not supposed to wear insect repellent because we might contaminate the samples we will be taking. There are five of us ferrying equipment to and from the boat. One piles up the equipment on the bank, one passes the equipment to someone stationed near the trunk of the tree, and one carefully slides out along the limb and hands it to someone on the boat. I am the one stationed in the tree near the trunk. In one of the few microseconds that I'm not actually carrying any equipment, I lean back against the tree and I have my moment. Are you kidding me? What the hell am I doing here? I have a freaking degree in English. It's 3 a.m. It's approaching 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% humidity. There's no light, not even the moon. I am standing on a tree limb above a swollen, galloping river. There are flesh-devouring, blood-sucking bugs everywhere. I have a 14-hour shift ahead of me. I'm tired. And you know the icing on the cake? The cherry on top? I have a rash. This is the exact moment I decided to stop being an environmental consultant. <laughs>